good morning students we have already covered uh, analysis of series rlc circuit in our previous lecture so now we are going to see resonance in series rlc circuit what is resonance resonance is a phenomena when reactance of the inductor equals to the reactance of the capacitor means when xl equals to xc what will happen when xl equals to xc in a series rlc circuit the impedance is given by z equals to r plus j xl minus xc so if xl and xc cancel out each others the only impedance left is a resistive impedance so at resistive impedance the applied voltage is in phase with the current flowing in the circuit so the circuit will behave as a pure resistive circuit that means a series rlc circuit at resonance condition will behave as a pure resistive circuit so this phenomena is called as resonance this occurs at a particular given frequency which is called as the resonant frequency now here we have a circuit where uh, a series rlc circuit so uh, to which we are giving an ac voltage vm sin omega t and some current i of t is flowing through it so what will happen in this circuit there are two energy storing devices one is inductor the other one is capacitor inductor will store energy in the form of magnetic field that is energy equals to half li square and capacitor will store energy in the form of electrostatic field that is energy equals to half cv square now what will happen when the capacitor discharges inductor builds up its magnetic field and when the magnetic field of the inductor collapses capacitor gets charged so the oscillation occurs between this electrostatic field and magnetic field and this process and this process continues so when resonance occurs the resonance occurs at a specific frequency when the inductive reactance equals to the capacitive reactance and this frequency is called the resonant frequency and at resonance the applied voltage is in phase with the current of the circuit means at resonance the series rlc circuit will behave as a pure resistive circuit now let further analyze it inductive reactance xl is given as xl equals to omega l where omega is the angular frequency given by omega equals to 2 pi f so xl equals to 2 pi fl that implies that xl is directly proportional to the frequency so if we plot the graph between xl and frequency we have taken xl in the y axis and frequency in the x axis so we'll get a linear curve as xl is directly proportional to frequency now coming to capacitive reactance capacitive reactance x c equals to 1 upon omega c equals to 1 upon 2 pi f c this clearly means that x c is inversely proportional to the frequency so if we plot a curve between x c and frequency then we will get a rectangular hyperbola as x c is inversely proportional to frequency now merging both the curves will get a curve like this in y axis we have plotted xl and xc and in x axis we have plotted frequency so the point where both the curve are meeting that point is where the inductive reactance equals to the capacitive reactance and that frequency is denoted as fr which is the resonant frequency for frequency less than the resonant frequency clearly from the graph we can see that xc is greater than xl so the series rlc circuit behaves as series rc circuit means it will show capacitive effect and for frequency greater than greater than the resonant frequency clearly xl is greater than the xc means the circuit will behave as inductive circuit so same points have been mentioned here now if we need to find the resonant frequency so what is happening at resonant xl is equals to xc that is omega rl equals to omega rc so if we derive that we come we come into the point that frequency equals to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc in terms of hertz and angular frequency equals to 1 upon under root lc angular frequency unit is radian per second 
now we need to plot impedance versus frequency during series resonance so impedance is given for a series rlc circuit it is given as r plus j xl minus xl minus xc this is a wave sign this means that if xl is greater than xc then we are going to do xl minus xc and if xc is greater than xl then we are going to do xc minus xl so magnitude of impedance is also shown here what is happening at resonance at resonance z is only equals to r because xl and xc cancel out each other so if we plot the impedance versus frequency graph you will get a parabola like of curve and the minimum frequency uh, and at resonant frequency the impedance is minimum that is z equals to r now if we are going to plot current versus frequency during resonance then in ac circuit voltage is equals to current into impedance so current is inversely proportional to impedance so current will be maximum at resonance so we will get a curve like this if you see the current versus frequency graph we will see the current is maximum at resonant frequency and we get a bell shaped curve for this now if we plot phase angle versus frequency we have already seen for the frequency lower than the resonant frequency the circuit behaves as a capacitive circuit that is xc is greater than xl so for capacitive circuit phase angle is negative and the maximum negative phase angle is minus 90 degree uh, a pure capacitor behavior and similarly for frequency greater than the uh, resonant frequency xl is greater than xc so we will get a positive phase angle and the maximum positive phase angle will be 90 degree for a pure inductor and at frequency equals to resonant frequency the phase angle is 0 degree that is we get a pure resistive circuit so we need to summarize what happens at resonance in a series RLC circuit. So impedance is minimum that is Z equals to R. As impedance is minimum current is maximum at that point. The phase angle is 0 degree. So if we calculate the power factor then cos of 0 degree equals to 1. So we get unity power factor and we can calculate frequency in terms of hertz and in terms of radian per second. Now coming to bandwidth. What is bandwidth? Bandwidth is the difference between lower cutoff frequency and upper cutoff frequency. And this cutoff frequency we calculate at a current that is 0 0.707 times of maximum current, which is the RMS value of current. This current corresponds to half of the maximum power. So mathematically, bandwidth equals to upper cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency in terms of radian per second in, in terms of angular frequency it will be bandwidth will be equals to wh minus wl so for the series rlc circuit we will calculate the value of wh and wl and we will come to this conclusion we will get wh and wl and then we can definitely find the bandwidth so the, the resultant bandwidth what we got is r upon 2 pi l and also from the previous figure we can we can uh, mention that fl equals to resonant frequency minus bandwidth by 2 and fh equals to resonant frequency plus bandwidth by 2 now coming to quality factor what is quality factor it is the measure it is the measure of voltage ma magnification or it is the measure of sharpness of the current curve so q can be simply given as the voltage across the inductor divided by voltage across the divided by voltage across the resistance or voltage across the capacitor divided by the voltage across resistance so just we have calculated the quality factor in in terms of LNR, in terms of bandwidth and quality factor in terms of RL and C. So if we know the value of resistance inductor and capacitor of the circuit, quality factor can be determined. Thank you students.